In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rotate your 3D objects so they can always face the mouse. You can learn how to have your object rotate with the mouse Y or with the mouse X or even both. In this example, the cannon is controlled by the mouse Y, which is the up and down, and then the base, which is the tower that house the cannon, is controlled by the mouse X, the left and right. Also, a shout out to Jack Cuevas who is the main brains behind this idea. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. For this uh, project, I've downloaded a asset from the asset store. It's called Cartoon Tank Free. Very nice, very uh, clean, and very well created, so check it out for yourself. It comes with a couple of tanks. Um, as you see here, uh, we have a green one, there's also a red one that we can use. So, um, but I've already, already, I've already gone ahead and chose this blue one here. And on the blue one, I've also created a little script here. I'll show you. Um, just a simple little player move script. And this is what it looks like. And then I've also gone ahead and created a little camera follow script. I know those are not the main reason for this tutorial, but I'll just kind of show you what is in it so far before we start. Um, and you can see here, I just move left and right. And yeah, that's basically it. So I like to be able to rotate the top of this cannon right here. The, uh, the tower, it's called. And the tower right here. I like to be able to rotate this with the mouse left and right. So if I rotate the, I believe it's the Y, here we go, manually rotate the Y, I do know that it's the Y axis that I need to rotate with the mouse X, okay? And then the little pointer here, um, the cannon, needs the mouse, the, the rotation here is the X, and so I need to rotate that when the mouse Y, when the mouse goes up and down. So. Um, without further ado, now that we know the rotations that we want, um, hop into my script folder and let's create our new C sharp script. Let's give this one here a name. And let me open this one up. I'm actually going to put it here on the camera, on, I'm sorry, on the tank, the base, uh, prefab for the tank. And let's open it up. So we're going to start off by creating a few variables here. This one I'll make a public transform. And uh, forgive me, my IntelliSense is turned off. <laughs> I've become so dependent on it. Um, so a little slow here. So a public transform for the tower. And I'll create a public transform for the cannon as well. And I've already identified to you what those are. So two different parts of the tank. Next, I'm going to create a speed that I'm going to use to rotate each one of these um, game objects individually. So this first one here will be my uh, tower speed, sort of a speed that I'm going to rotate it. And I'll duplicate that line and I'll create my cannon speed as well. Let's put a capital T there. All right, next I'm going to need a couple of floats, just two floats, one for the tower angle, so I keep track of the angle that I'm rotating it, and also one for the cannon angle. That's one, two, three, four, five, six variables, and that's it. We won't need any more than this. I'll get rid of the start function because I won't be using that at all. And now um, I can do everything in start, and I, I can do everything inside the update. But I'm going to go ahead and create separate functions to rotate each piece individually uh, in case in your scenario you may not want both um, of your objects to be rotating you may not want to use both rotations so I'll just do it individually so you, you'll be able to use whatever it is that you want out of this code so I'll have my rotate tower that will rotate the, the base unit and then the rotate cannon to rotate the cannon. So I'll have these happening individually so that you can just pick apart what you need. For 
from this code. Next, let's go ahead and assign my tower angle to the appropriate values. So plus equals, and I'll catch my input here on my mouse X axis. All right, so this is the left and right movements of the mouse. I also need to time this by that um, tower rotation speed that I set earlier, and then time it by a negative value of the times dot delta time command. So as I move this mouse cursor left and right, I want to be able to rotate that um, tank um, tower from right to left, left and right, but um, ignoring all the up and downs, okay? So now the angle, to restrict it here, um, I'm gonna restrict it, so angle equals math f dot clamp, and we're gonna tell it what we want to clamp, and that will be the tower angle. So it's, and essentially we're looking at it, we're moving certain numbers, and we're using it in a sense. We're gonna clamp it at zero, and then at 180. Why do I pick these numbers? Because if you see here, if I click on this tower, the current rotation is at zero, and if I go to 180, it's facing that way. But I don't want it to keep rotating all the way around to the other direction, so I'm clamping it, restricting the movements between that zero and 180. Next, we're simply just going to assign the rotation at this point. So we say tower, which is the transform. So we say tower.local rotation equal quaternion dot angle axes. So it's dot angle axes. Where's the intelligence when you need it? And then in here, we just gotta give it the angle. So we already created that, which is the tower angle. And now if we wanted it to rotate left and right, it's actually um, the Y value, which is vector three dot up. As you saw in the inspector, vector three dot up means Y value. So we're rotating this only on the Y. Now leave a little comment here for you guys. So if this is something you want to do, um, this is how you would do it. If you wanted to rotate it on something else other than the up, or other than the Y, if you wanted to rotate on the X, I'm gonna show you that next. But um, let's go in here and assign these public variables. So the tower is the tower, the cannon is the cannon, and then a speed for rotation. I find that a high number usually works here. Now set the, the cannon rotation as well. For rotation speed, let's give it a shot. You see here, I rotate left, rotate right, and it follows me on the Y rotation. Let's increase this number. Higher speed is usually better. That way you don't have to drag the mouse like halfway across the screen. But you can see here that it's also restricted to like pointed all the way that way. That way um, the aiming can be a little bit more precise as well. So this, this looks good, feels good. I like it. I'll test it while it's moving. Yeah, so I can shoot forward, shoot backwards. Just shoot. And that nice little like animation. <laughs> it's not really animation, it's actually just rotating, but that's, um, I like that and I'll, I'll keep that. So guys, this is what you would do to get that rotation for yourself on that particular Y axis. Now the cannon itself, I kind of want that to go up and down. So I'm just gonna duplicate the code and change some of these uh, variable names. This one here will be the cannon angle. Make sure we change that, change it here as well. And change it here. The code is gonna be very similar, so I'm just changing a couple of things. Um, change this. Um, we're using the mouse Y, and also we need the speed for that tower, for that cannon, so it's gonna be a separate, separate speed. Change that there. And then instead of vector 3 up, up, we will say right, which represents the x, the x value. Um, you can also say left, but then it'll, it might be inverted. So 
So if yours is inverted on the right, then my tip to you is then say left. You can see here, uh, oops, rotate the wrong one. You can see here if I rotate the X, then you see that it goes up and down. So it's your mouse Y that will rotate the object X. In a sense, that is what we're doing. As the mouse go up and down on the rotation, your object needs to be rotated by the X value, even though X is usually left and right. So I'm going to set the clamps here to something really small, like um, like negative 10 and positive 10. Because as, as I was testing it a second ago, oops, missed this one here as well. I want to change that to the Canon rotate and save. As I was testing it a second ago, I found that um, just uh, going up a little bit looks better than going up too far. So see, it just goes up a little bit and then it clamps. And we can rotate left, up and down, rotate left and right, up and down. And um, all you got to do now is create some sort of projectile, maybe on click, you shoot some sort of missiles, whatever you want to do with this, guys. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your data. Check out this tutorial. Appreciate it. Smash that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.